So lenses can be confusing when it comes to photography. For instance, this is a 24mm lens, but in the grand scheme of things, what is 24? Well, it's not as wide as 10, then not as zoomed in as 70. The bigger the number, the more zoomed in it is. For instance, this is 10, so this is 10 millimeters, and a telephoto lens might look like this. So this is 70 millimeters, which isn't extremely zoomed in, but compared to 10 it sure is. So that was an example of three different focal lengths. This current one that I'm shooting on right now is 18 millimeters, which is just the wide end of your standard crop sensored Canon kit lens. <laughs> All the stuff in this video will be in relation to crop sensor cameras, so that's anything below the Canon 6D or whatever stuff isn't full frame in Nikon and Sony's lineup. And Pentax. Don't forget about Pentax. So if you want to know the technicalities behind it, the reason why the focal length is what it is, 10mm or 70mm or whatever, it's the distance between the point of convergence in the lens and the sensor of your camera. So the point of convergence is the bit where the light goes in and then goes like that. Um, and then the sensor is the, well, it's the bit that picks up all the light and does the, does the magic photo things. So why does it really matter all that much? All you want to know is how do I find the right lens for me? Let's just talk about Canon. That would save lots of confusion. Right, if you're in the Canon line and you are bored of 18 to 55, you want to zoom in on that animal over there, I would say go 75 to 300 if you have the money, or go on Fords or Wex or something and try and get a second hand one because they'll be a load cheaper and it'll it'll still get you to zoom in on that thing over there and if you want to go wider then this 10 to 18 the Canon 10 to 18 f4.5 5.6 IS STM is probably perfect you can pick them up for about 190 on sale on Amazon at the moment they're 210 and you can get a second hand one from CEX for about 160 but they seem to get snapped up like super quick which is a huge pain Tomorrow I will go outside and I will resume this video and we'll go and do a comparison. So, yep, this video shall continue tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Cool. Right, so luckily today is a really nice day so I can actually carry on with this video. But I'm just going to go through all the different focal lengths starting at 10 and going all the way up to 200 so you can just see a comparison. There's a lovely landscape behind the camera so I'll just spin it around. There you go. So instead of just focusing on a random landscape, I'm going to focus on this tree behind me there. Okay, so that was a quick focal length roundup. Next time I will be going on to focal lengths and how they affect depth of field, which you might have noticed during this. For instance, going from the 70 to the 200, you can see there's a lot more background blur, but I will discuss that next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more of this, um, this channel's the most varied thing in the world at the moment. I can't really decide what I want to make. I just like making a lot of things. So you can subscribe and there'll, there'll probably be something that you like. Heck, you can go check out my hair tutorial. I mean, my hair is now green, it's no longer black, but it still applies. Cool. See you next time. If I don't, have a great day, have a great week, have a great month, have a great year, and have a great rest of your life. But other otherwise, I will see you possibly next Friday, or the Friday after that, or whenever I next upload. Cool. Bye.